Hi everyone, it's Fjordström. I've been using Apple Music for the past five years now and I've really enjoyed it on my iPhone, iPad, Mac and Apple TV. But recently I switched to Android and I've noticed that Apple Music on Android actually has more features or certain features are missing in iOS and I really hope that they would bring those to the Apple ecosystem as well. Yeah, you know, with Android, you do have sometimes different experiences depending on your device, but on my Galaxy Z Flip 3, the experience has been great. I've experienced no bugs, everything works as expected, but there are features that I really want to show you here that are, yeah, features that people really want to have on iOS and I really hope will come soon. Let's get to it. First of all, both apps work the same way. So you have the same buttons here at the bottom, you have the same uh, now playing screen, you have the same layout here in the listen now section, the same playlists of course, and that is really cool. Um, if you tap here on a playlist for example, you do have the same options, the same thing here, the same uh, animation, same buttons, and also if you tap here, you have the same options. And uh, what also works is searching in playlists, which is also possible on, on iOS. Now, this is very great because if you ever switch to Android or if you have an Android user in your family or if you have an extra Android phone lying around and you want to use Apple Music on it, you don't have to like miss features and maybe even switch, or, switch away from Apple Music because just of that. Now, there are a few differences, of course, that I want to show you here. If you tap here on the three buttons, first of all, you can just access the settings straight from here. You don't have to go to the settings app. You can just do it straight over here and here are all the settings for Apple Music on Android and the first thing you can see here is crossfade so that's the first feature that I'm going to show you here crossfade is possible on Android and that is really cool you can choose between uh, automatic so that is something that I usually set it on so it sets crossfade length automatically based on what's playing so if, if it detects that your sound the music is almost over and that it's fading out already it will already start crossfading instead of waiting a certain amount of seconds that you set here but you could do it as well or you can turn it off but anyway this is a setting that you cannot find on iOS uh, do you use crossfade by the way let me know in the comment section below I really like that feature and um, it is possible on Spotify so I really hope that they won't uh, keep waiting for the feature to come to Apple Music now, just in case you're wondering lossless audio and spatial audio are supported on Android devices it will depend though on your device and of course on the speakers that you're using or, or headphones but Dolby Atmos is supported on this device for example and uh, so you're not going to miss out if ever you switch to Apple Music on Android. Now you can see one more setting over here which is equalizer. Now on iOS you also have equalizer just you have to go to settings for that and if you go down here to music there we go you can see here that you do have equalizer EQ and you have all these options acoustic classical dance deep electronic and so on really many options which I really appreciate but you don't have an option to create your own equalizer and that's something I mean if people have read people on reddit wanting an equalizer and I was thinking like you have one here uh, but you can't set one yourself if I tap here in on equalizer uh, first of all yeah, I can turn on Dolby Atmos or uh, even Dolby Atmos for gaming which I haven't tried out yet or equalizer and although you do have less options here you do have a custom equalizer so if you want you can customize it to the, the way you like and this is something I don't really know what it does either adapt sound oh cool okay so you can choose a preset that matches your age and then it will show you to boost high frequencies if you tap here on under 30 and we tap here if you're over 60, then uh, this is how it will sound. All right, now while editing, I just realized that if you tap here on Equalizer, it brings you to the settings of your phone. So this here is now my uh, Samsung settings. So this is the reason why if I tap here, you can see a purple color, which is the purple background here of my phone. And um, this here is a Samsung setting. So everything you can see here, also the custom Equalizer that you could see earlier, uh, is apparently a Samsung feature. So that's good to know. Now again, if your phone has a feature, you might have this as well. Now, just in case you're wondering, if you tap on an album, you do get the same uh, the same information as you would. So for example, the, the date of release, the, uh, the company and the producer, the music videos. So this is all the same, no differences over here. But if you go to your uh, playlists, for example, and you would edit a playlist, both of them do the same thing. I mean, you can change the picture, you can change the title, the description, you can show your song 
uh, your, uh, your place, I mean, on your profile and on your in the search. Uh, but there's one more difference, as you can see here at the bottom half. Yes, the bottom bar uh, disappeared, but I wouldn't need it anyway while editing. But there's one more thing, deleting. If you want to delete multiple songs off your playlist, like this, you can just select them with these checkboxes and then hit delete. While on iPhone, you cannot do this. You have to delete songs one by one. And sometimes you do want to delete multiple songs from one playlist. Let's say you want to transfer them to another playlist and then delete them of this one. You'd have to do this one by one. You can't select multiple by clicking and holding or something. Uh, or maybe if you hit done, like selecting and tapping away to select another one. No, that's not possible. Now the next feature is something that is not really Apple Music related, but is a nice feature here on Android, and that is just using split screen here on, uh, on Android. You could just keep on uh, reading here, like reading a music article while you're watching a music video here in top, for example, uh, or still somehow browsing a song. Let's say you want to um, add multiple songs to your playlist. You could have your, like the, the charts over here at the bottom, or a certain playlist that you had before in Spotify. Oh, let me do that instead. Okay, I'll just take Spotify over here, put it over here. And I have a, so I have a few songs from the release radar, for example. I Oh, here they are. So I, what I can do now is I can just search for those songs on Apple Music and add them to my playlists. And all without, without like, having to switch between two apps. So yeah, that's a nice feature. It isn't, again, it isn't a built-in feature in Apple Music, but it is Android. And it's something that is really nice. Uh, especially on larger iPhones, split screen would be cool, but uh, yeah. If you go back to our settings, but this time over our account settings, we can see here, okay, we can upgrade to family, we can manage your subscription within here. Uh, what I can do here is manage my notifications. So if I tap over here, then I have these options. I can turn off notifications for my friends when friends start following me or add my playlists to their own library, uh, or I can turn off or turn on renewal receipts. I don't know what do you want to have. So each time your subscription gets renewed, you will get a notification, which is sometimes nice, just in case you want to keep track of it. And maybe turn off uh, notifications for new artists or new music uh, that is suggested to me or that is released by my favorite artists. Right, so those are a few features that are available on Android, but not on iOS. Let me know in the comment section below which one you would like to see on iOS in the near future. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.